Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a video using zero budget. Now I'm going to be using things that literally cost me nothing or things that you can generally find around most households. So things like scissors, sticky tape, glue and a pen are things that most people have in their households. So I'm going to be using these four things to craft with. And I'm also going to be using things that you can get from free. So other than these things that I'll be using to do majority of the um, crafting with, these are the things that I'm using to actually decorate and send to my pen pal. So I've got this plastic sleeve here. Now this was just packaging from something that I bought. So I know that you have to buy something in order to get this packaging, but if you keep an eye out and keep all these packagings, these are actually free. So this is recycling um, and I'll be using this throughout the pen pal letter. This is just a brown paper bag. Now, if you bought something, obviously this will come like this will come for free. Just go around to your local store, see who do give out um, paper bags with their purchases and maybe just ask if you can have one maybe suggest that it's for a crafting project maybe even suggest it's for a school crafting project they'll more likely give it to you if you suggest it's for something other than your own personal needs um, but most people should be open just to um, give you a paper bag just because it's free for them and um, yeah, I just feel like if you just went around to some of your local stores, they might just give you one. But this was free that came with um, something that I purchased. So again, this is just recycling. Now the next thing I have is a newsletter, um, newspaper, sorry. Now this is just the local one that gets dropped around to my house once a week. So this is absolutely free. I don't know what it's like in your country. Um, maybe you get junk mail, like advertising mail, so all of that will work. Another thing I'll be using is baking paper. Now, I'm going to be making envelopes out of these, so I know that technically baking paper isn't free, but this is a household item that most people should have, so it should be free to use in your crafts. The next thing I'm going to be using is a postcard. Now this postcard was free, I got it from the YHA, um, it is very pretty, I really loved it so I got a few of them. So another thing I'm going to be using is a dried flower. If you don't have any flowers around your neighbourhood that you can um, take then maybe even collect some leaves. So this Lipton tea is actually from McDonald's and I'm pretty sure I actually got it for free. I don't think I even paid for the tea. I think it actually just came on the um, tray that they gave me. So maybe even just try checking out your local McDonald's if they have some teas. Um, maybe a few places around your area might have free teas. I know that I got a few free teas from when I went to a hotel. So there are different places you can get teas. Um, this is obviously another one. Um, I got this one from a pen pal, but other places you can get them from are neighbours or grandparents if they're alive again, um, friends and family. So check out other places that maybe you could just grab one and then you wouldn't have to pay for a whole box of tea. I'm going to be using stamps that I sell on my Etsy. Um, these, you can usually generally find stamps, so if you get any mail sent to you, remember to keep the stamps because they are really good to craft with and obviously if it's been sent to you then it's then your stamp and it's free. So I thought that would be a great idea for you. And lastly, I'll be using a bit of this twine. Again, I know that twine isn't free, but it's something that you could possibly find around your household or even a neighbor's household. So those are all things that are common in people's houses and also things that are free around the area. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut out the newspaper and I'm going to cut out all the images and everything I want to keep from the newspaper and pretty much get rid of the rest of the paper. Um, I'm only going to be keeping things that I can craft with so I can start figuring out how I want to decorate this pen pal letter. So there wasn't a lot of options out of the newspaper. I was just looking for large images. So these are the three that I got. Um, and I was also looking for text with not a lot of images on it as well. So 
this patch here I could use um, as either decorating or I could make a little envelope out of that. So I'll decide that a bit later. But in general, there's only three big images out of the whole newspaper. Uh, but we'll see what we can create out of it. First thing I wanted to do is I wanted to make a little patch for these two little teas. Now I want to make it out of the baking paper. So I'm going to just get a section of um, the baking paper out. So I'll probably need enough to cover both teas. So I'm actually going to be using a template, a Kiki K template. Now if you don't have a Kiki K template, which I'm guessing most of you don't, um, you can print out a template off the internet if you have a printer. If you don't have a printer, um, maybe you could open up an envelope and then you could trace around that. If you don't have any envelopes lying around, simply just make a square and fold it together. So I'll show you how to do that in a second. But I'm going to be making a template from this Kiki K one. Okay, so this is the template and this is obviously um, the baking paper we just cut around. is I'm going to show you how to make another little envelope and I'm going to be putting these little stamps inside. Now again you can collect stamps if they've been sent to you in the mail. Maybe you could ask some neighbours or friends if they have any stamps left over or if you wanted to dry some flowers and put them in this little pocket or you could make some things or draw some things. Um, there's lots of different things you could do to put a little extra in your pen pal letter. So now we're just going to package it all up and I really like packaging things in clear plastic bags. So again, this was free, this was just recycled packaging. So there we go, everything's nicely packaged up. I've just flipped it around so it's not on this side with the little, um, what's it called, little barcode there. So I've got the postcard, the stamps, the letter, the tea, the flower, and a little bit of twine all in there. So next I'm going to make a envelope and I'm going to pop this in. So I'm going to be making the envelope out of this paper bag. So there we have it. There is our little snail mail on a zero budget. Now, I, if you don't have newspaper cuttings, you could use um, obviously some junk mail. You can use magazines. I've created lots of things with Frankie magazines and also Flow magazines. If you wanted to grab one of those, you could use those pictures for days. Um, if you don't have any stamps, you could just draw pictures. It would be really easy to draw this little stamp up here. Um, and things like the postcards. If you don't have the postcard, you create one yourself. Um, you could also create your own little stickers or you could draw some stickers for someone and put some little um some um what's it called some 
tape on the back of that. Again, you could put lots more flowers in, lots more dried um, leaves, but I thought that turned out quite nice today. It's usually not as bulky as my most of my letters, but if you just wanted to send a letter to someone that has plenty in it in order to make the person really happy when they open their letter up. So I thought it looked very nice and it would be a nice little package to receive in the mail. So thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope you got lots of ideas and if you are on a budget, I really hope this video helped. So thank you and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!